Welcome to Electron Online. Well, since we were able to prove that the sine of 2a was equal to 2 times the sine of a cosine of a, well, maybe we could use the very same technique here. What we're going to do is write the cosine of 2a as the cosine of a plus a and see what happens. All right, so let's write this as the cosine of a plus a. And remember, if we have the cosine of a plus b, this becomes the cosine of a times the cosine of b, and if this is a plus, this becomes a minus the sine of a times the sine of b. All right, now in this case, since b is now a, we write the exact same thing, but wherever we see a b, we're simply going to write an a, so this becomes the cosine of a times the cosine of a minus the sine of a times the sine of a. And of course, that then simplifies to the cosine square of a minus the sine square of a. And you can see that's exactly what we have over there, so we know that the cosine of 2a is simply the cosine squared of a minus the sine squared of a. And that's how we prove that.